Uh, the Pokemon. The little, uh, yeah. yeah. The little I've seen it, I mean, it just looks like uh, it has a lot of the things that a lot of players have been asking for, so I think it's very exciting for them. And well, Search is going with Link this time. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> so forget about the Pokemon conversation we were having. Yep. So we Let's talk about Breath of the Wild 2 in the, in the meantime, then, because <laughs> we're seeing Serge's uh, Link against Joker. Lelin, he's not he's not playing either Fire or Mitra. He's going for the Joker, which is he's ha he's having those juggles with the with the with the uppers, and uh, yeah, Serge with this Link had uh, he's having a little he was having a little bit of trouble to have some safe control, but he's finding it right now and doing the, the link things to do, which is nearing, nearing all the way for against the Lelin. Yeah, I mean, so so far it's really making it hard for Lelin to come back on the stage here. Those aerials with the projectiles, especially that bomb that's coming out right for him to send him back to the other side of the stage. And with 125%, a single mistake, a single read just like that, the fair is not going to be enough to take the stock, but he's being very patient. And look at that, just... A wall of projectiles. Uh, nice uh, use of the down be there from Lelin to make it back to not get sniped there by Sergius. Just putting off uh, a nice, a nice uh, demonstration of of projectiles. But Lelin makes it back and with send back. Well, I was gonna say he could make a comeback, but uh, Serge didn't even let him give have a chance. Yeah, you're really good not cursing the cat, the, the <laughs> players. You're getting in the real right timing, but uh, okay. So let's see what Lelin has to for a response. He's he's losing. He has to adapt. He's getting sword sword hits everywhere, and uh, yeah, not having much stage control, which is like one of the Serge's like for formulas right here. Mm, pressuring, pressuring, and doing those nurse things on the on the ledge, and oh, let's see what. Patient. Yeah, that, that too, like waiting on the ledge for like two minutes over there. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like a bait and punish uh, place at this point, because I mean, he at, having the advantage, he's really not obligated to be the one uh, that plays aggressively, and he's probably waiting for Lelin to make a mistake for him to punish. But nice here, the trade from Lelin getting that aerial, taking the first stock off of Surge, but 66% with their sin almost gone. Uh, there's a bit of a road to take for from Lelin if he wants to make the comeback, because the way Search has been playing has been really good, barely missing that forward, uh, that, that dash attack there from, from Surge, but that fair was perfectly spaced, taking the second stop with only 35% on his side. Yeah, now he's looking for the juggle, he kind of grabs the, the, the bomb with the OP, that was a really interesting interaction. Uh, we see the, 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 the smash attack. And, uh, yeah, what he's looking for... <laughs> oh, no, the timing was wrong. He was waiting for him to, to let go the, the down B. <laughs> and it, it was uh, like trying to do a really intelligent move, but he ends up getting the arrow in, in his, right in his face. <laughs> yeah, it's setting up pretty much a stand up there, but we have the wall of... Surge, and those have worked too. And, like, Wonders on his side do damage and... Having Lelin ready to lose the stock potentially with an, with any aerial that he could connect here with the surprise selfie, which barely misses the last hit that would have taken the stock off and give him the set uh, the first game to surge. But he's gonna find this remote bomb, which is gonna be enough, and that's gonna seal the deal with a two stock for the very first game between these two. Yeah, looking looking good for Serge with that link. Uh, really making it with the, those aerials and those. Uh... And Nairs on the on the ledge, not making him back and doing all that damage off stage. Really good moves from Search. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, uh, I, I don't. I know we were surprised at the start uh, with the character pick from from Search, but I mean, uh, honestly, he he's a he's a player that is very very good with a variety of characters. I mean, we've seen it in past tournaments with uh, with characters like Lucario and and also uh, who else. Uh, I mean, we, we see Link in this case, but speaking of character changes, we have Lelin going for Pyre and Mithra, which is, you know, one of those characters that we know for a fact we're going to see on any tournament. Yeah, for sure. She's the the character of the moment, or maybe from the meta, right? Yeah. Since, since the, the patch notes are gone, um, now this is the game, this character is broken, we're going to see her, like, really, really, for a really long time on the top eights and game. So... Right now, Lelin, like, 
doing a good demonstration from a good character change, uh, making more pressure for against uh, uh, search. And uh, well, I see, I see, I see on the chat, Bernie is very excited to see this this link. Yeah. Doing well, but now it's not that well positioned on this second game, which makes it like Lelin a really good choice to change characters. Yeah, Lelin making up, making sure that his character change is bringing the results that he's looking for, and so far he's doing a good job with this, with this series of attacks, with the punishes, with all the aerials and stuff, which are not really giving Surge a chance to deal damage, and all this pressure on the shield uh, from Surge is making it. Uh, you could say quite annoying for him because he's not getting any space, any breathing space to start setting off a string or something. But even with Lilin and 105%, uh, he's really not letting Surge approach, which is working wonders for, for Lilin because he's pretty much on the verge of finding the second stock at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, much pressure, much damage, and uh, Lilin, Lilin doing it in really good work, not like having, nice getting stuff. a chance for, for Surge. Like, we, you get a really good snipe with that bump, but uh, that's pretty much uh, <laughs> a, hard, a hard moment. <laughs> LOL, the, the fire from the, the mid fire sword did oh, true. <laughs> blow the, the, the bump. The bump. <laughs> I, I was gonna ask why Surge would blow up the bump there, but I forgot that, I mean, that downer pretty much activated mm -hmm. the bomb, which yeah, could have fire. really messed up with Surge. <laughs> Yeah, it's a. It could be a really interesting strategy for some, at some moments, right? Yeah, and especially in those cases, which we we might see Lelin throw that side be more often, trying to uh, not let Surge throw that bomb, as we see right now. Maybe trying to make it not work as a factor on this match, but so far, 157%. Any of them could take the stock at this point, and it's gonna be this option from Lelin, which is gonna give him back the advantage uh two stocks against one and once again changing to mithra to deal the damage he's gonna find the string right here nice parry there from from uh Lelin, which goes without a single punish but i mean things are slipping away from Serge's hand at this point in this second game yeah now search is looking to dlc privileges like he's not getting any punish and now Very. that upsmat was enough on the platform, didn't take it, and he was right there to punish. And now it's one to one. Uh, that Pyromitra looking good now. Yeah, it kind of came out of nowhere that up smash. So I mean, Serge wasn't really expecting it. So yeah, that tells you a lot about how how much of a difference that character switch made on on this match. Because we went from a Serge 2-0 to a Lelin 2-0. So. Momentum has definitely shifted and now it's gonna be a scenario where we're gonna maybe see Surge uh, change his character because as I mean as I mentioned he has he has Pokemon Trainer, he has Lucario. I think I've seen him use Grand Ninja as well, so he's got the variety, but let's see what he goes for, and it's exactly that Grand Ninja that he's thinking about maybe. Interesting, interesting. So character change so both players play many characters. And that's that's interesting. Like we just saw um, sets that didn't change at all. They have their main pretty yep. straightforward, and now we're seeing changes for everywhere. <laughs> like changing strategies, not only on on the game, not only on the stage, but also on the character pick. Yeah, I can respect that. And now Surge is gonna be taking us to Kalos. Uh, Kalos wants to get a very big stage with a high ceiling, which is gonna give him a lot of, of a lot of ground to maybe extend their attacks, but also a lot of space for maybe an edge guard. Because I, I really doubt we're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, a, a lot of stocks being taken from the top, but most of them will be taken from this side, either with smash attackers from the from the stage or just edge guard situations, which I know any of these two characters can deal with really well. Yeah, that's what we're looking right now, a really fast pace on both characters, both players. Um, now it's pretty pretty even on this uh, first stock on both sides. Uh, going, going, it's, it's gonna be harder for Lelin chasing Surge because he's faster now. But uh, you know, you know, he's getting now the kill and it's gonna be harder. It's, it's I think it's harder for Greninja finding kills than for Pyramidra, but. You know, oh, the, the, absolutely. My, I don't. I don't want to curse it again. <laughs> yeah, we've been here before, but yes, yeah, they're trying to look for a single setup to take this stock, barely avoiding death there, Lelin, and also Serge 
for that I'll be the good of taking the stock just, just gonna find the forwarder which takes the very first stock from Lelin so this is a completely even game so far let's see who's gonna take the first damage right here trying to punish trying to cover both options there's gonna be Surge who finds that arrow but really quickly Lelin finds that side B and it's gonna start dealing a lot of damage with this string yeah the, the damage right now for for Lelin's favor it's good and the, you're, you're seeing a really good spacing on both players but uh, unfortunately, the sword is getting the advantage. He's getting uh, like more distance, more uh, more like the, the hitbox advantage right there. It's making a difference right now because they they were being very careful. And now the pirate to finish the stocks. Let's see if he can make it. Wow, really good wall jump right, right there for Surge to come back to the stage, making the the, the changes on the edge ledge. But uh, Lelin not making it right now. Or the upper still not able to kill Ooh. and ah oh, that forward to a really good dash from search and good, good di even though it, the ninja is not that uh heavy it's a, kind of like a light character he's making it back from those uppers from pyra it's very very surprising really good di but also the the stage the the, the size of the stage is it's going well for search yeah i think it was a very good choice of stage uh, from Surge after what we saw, what we saw in the second game, that uh, two of the stocks I think went from the top, uh, and I mean we're gonna, see, I guess we're gonna see one of those stocks go from the case after that side beat fully connects from Le Ling, who's once again with the advantage, but Surge trying to put here a clinic on the ledge, trying to put a wall so that Le Ling doesn't come back, which unfortunately for Surge he does come back, and as trying to set up once again another another uh, flurry of attacks, another flurry of aerials to try to deal as much damage as possible. Because at this point, you're a stock ahead, you're going to want to try to maximize that lead, that lead that you have gotten. But I mean, for a search, it's, he might start getting desperate with every second that passes because he just doesn't seem to find the key that, lock, that unlocks the door. Yeah, I don't see his... He, he's not getting what he was looking for from Greninja. Uh, unfortunately, the sword is winning and those juggles from Lelin it's, are making it really good for him. Now, search finally the kill, but he's against the wall with yep. those all those percentages and Pyra out. It's a really, really hard situation. He's getting the grab and looking for the more more damage on the ledge. No, nothing else but the oh. downer. That was it for the ninja. He's so light. He's so light. Yeah, a downer from Pyra. It was enough. Okay, well. DLC privilege, I, I guess. Fair, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think at this point we're grown, we're, we're grown used to these uh, interactions happening. I'm just a little surprised that there was no flash screen uh, after that that aerial. But I mean, it happens, and I think Search was just a surprise because it didn't even look like that was gonna be enough to take the stock. But I mean, as you mentioned, your ninja is very light, so. Surge is in a little bit of trouble because he can't find a way to to go around the link because this character switch from him seems to have worked wonderfully for him. Yeah, very surprising and unexpected that I would I would say like with some no. Surge going back from stage like three times from uh -huh. from good DIs, the Pyra uppers. I can't believe the downer could kill earlier than the uppers. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me. He didn't spike, but uh, yeah, it, he killed. And now uh, we see another character change. We see the cloud. You know what? He's fighting swords against swords, so I think that's a fair choice. That's a fair choice. I haven't seen much of Surge's uh, cloud so far, but I mean, Cloud is an amazing character with a variety of tools that, on the right hands, can be devastating. I mean, we've seen we've seen that in the case with Spargo. So maybe Surge trying to get some of that magic on his side to maybe. Uh, go through a character like Pyron Mithra because so far his last two characters weren't enough to do it so we'll see what happens and so far doing a good stuff barely, barely missing that side view with the limit that would have for sure taken the first stock off of Lelin but so far doing a good job recognizing that up, that up the out of shield is going to be an incredibly useful tool on this game but every little uh, hit that Lelin gets uh, it just makes things harder for search and probably uh, putting a lot more pressure on his mind. Yeah, looking, looking well, doing the, doing the Spargo thing, going for Cloud, and now, now it's it's harder now for for Lelin. He's gonna have to come back from that uh, kill he actually got. Oh, okay, but the downer and the upper 
It's gonna connect really well and we see the red the red uh, percentage right there. Really good real good movements from, from both players. Like you you can see that they're dodging right back and forth and uh, yeah, we we are seeing the three stocks from Surge now yeah. on the for for this long. I think it's been the first time after that first game that we have Surge with the advantage. So good on him who's making some ground back in this case and now looking for an edge card. Knows that Lenin is gonna go for that side B once again, as we've seen him do for the last two games. So he recognizes that he's gonna punish with that up B. Surprise for Lenin, because he's now two stocks down on Surge's Cloud, which looks like could have been the, the character pick to to get off that momentum off of Lelin. And so far, he's looking unstoppable. Yeah, yeah, the, the decision that they they both play, these both plays are making. Uh, we we can see like more counter peak. Uh, situations on, on both of them and looks like Surge found it, found found the, the response, found the answer against oh. <laughs> the Pyramidra. <laughs> Not surprising, okay. <laughs> up smash that. Oh, okay, he's dead. Yep. I guess I guess he's gone. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the story of this set so far because I think most of the games have actually ended like that with just a mm -hmm. ice attack that doesn't even get the, the KO screen. But I mean, if it works, it works and... Uh, this is a solid 3-stock from Surge. I think this might have been the first 3-stock we get in top 8 so far. Yeah, 3-stock th actually. Yeah, th <laughs> doing a, a good comeback and saying, I'm not gone, I'm, I'm still looking for uh, a better placement here. I want to stay alive here and we're gonna get the 5th yeah, game. Yeah, the game. I think this is actually the very first game 5 scenario. We've gotten on top eight, so shout out to these two players giving us a show right now. And it's gonna be uh, Lelin, who's actually starting with Mithra this time. In a lot of scenario, in a lot of cases, in the last few games, we've seen him uh, go for Pyra first, but doing some good damage at, uh, at the start with with uh, Mithra. But he's gonna be careful because Surge on a single opening could close the stock really quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going for a different strategy, you can be also very versatile with this. Uh, Pyramidra um, doing, having the advantage right now, but here comes the response maybe for Surge. He's going up, up and down, up and down, and getting those side beats and gaining the grab, making it back. He's trying to do the, the neutral B thing, and that up smash not able to kill, even though Smash will eat a very small stage. It's a, kind of big on the on the sides, kind of big uh, up there, so that was not enough. Um, and he's he's coming back and let's see the pressure with the limit so he has a limit right there and he missed it and now with the grab up throw was not it's not gonna be enough and there it goes he finds it that backer finds it that that the lean and now the lean is gonna look desperately with that for that kill wow. and we have killed that quickly we're going to the second stop it's zero zero that was much faster than i expected when with a minute and a half gone on the clock, where um, each of these players uh, second to last stock on the on the entire tournament. Because remember, this is bracket. This is a game five scenario where none of them want to make an, a mistake that could cost them the rest of the run. And they're playing. They want to play, you know, as as careful as possible. Because I mean, as I mentioned, a mistake against one of these characters it could be incredibly devastating. And we see that on the way Surge has been using that off the out of shield. Uh, very often to just uh, secure damage. We see the double jab there, the double jab cancel from both of the of the characters, the both of the players, and we have limit once again on the side of Surge, who unfortunately is gonna miss out on that, and it's gonna be Lelin getting a little bit of a punish now. Yeah, I mean, win really good choices to avoid those side beats, uh, kind of combos like he's he's shielding and then rolling at the at the perfect moment, and now. Sir has the momentum right there, uh, going for the for the let's let's pressure and gets getting the, that grab. Let's see what Lin can do to get back from the stage to get the stage control back. And yeah, you you can see both of the players really good, uh, really good positioning on the on the platform on the on the stage. And there it goes. They have still that it's gonna miss that that F up up field. It's gonna do it. And that, again, that dangerous downer from Pyra. Ooh. <laughs> it's making the very hard for search. I'm surprised both of them are still alive. They're showing an amazing uh, ability so far in doing that jump. <laughs> it's gonna be enough to take this stock, but just as I mentioned that, <coughs> it's
It's gonna be the Lin finding also a two to take this stock. The side is not gonna connect. But once again, the pressure. Nice roll from Surge, saving himself from the punish right there. Yeah, that that, that actually was a long, long suck. Even though they they lost it like uh, right the, after we just said it, it was like two two minutes, two stock situation for the, for both of them. And now we're seeing both players having the last stock. He's who's gonna get it? Surge is raising the hand to be the one who takes this set. But let's see what what uh, you know Pyramitra can can do a lot of damage too. Yeah, uh, yeah, Serge is having a really good moment right now. Let's see if, if, if what Lin has for for right now, and he's he's getting those 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 juggles right there. He's avoiding it and really really good uh, avoiding it, it work from from the Lin on those those pressure moments that he had. Really very good shield. Oh my God, it's a very tense moment. Any mistake could could be the one that will seal the deal. But right now, more patience from both players. They, they're taking the space right now. This is incredibly tense because so far Lenin has played a perfect set, but Surge just keeps that pressure up. And the moment you drop shield, you're punished by that backer. And after a very tense two or three minutes there at the end, it's going to be Surge who prevails, who switches characters just in time to bring this back to a game five scenario, keep his cool, and take the set 3 2 on his favor. I mean, I was not expecting the kill right there. Yeah. <laughs> they, you, they're having like really good spacing. They were having the patient, and right there when I like I can give you the word, he, he it finds it. He finds the yeah. backer. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised because Lelin was playing that last talk pretty much to perfection. Because 